What's up, Twisties? It's Twisted Pandora, and welcome back, everyone, to another episode in the RB Battles Season 3 event. In today's episode, I will show you guys how to get the green bid and get DJ's Dynamic Dasher, and if you're quick enough, DJ's Golden Dynamic Dasher. So what you guys are going to want to do is go ahead and join Build a Boat for Treasure. You don't need to join the main RB Battles game. I just did that to show you guys where the portal is, and here it is. Go to the portal if you're here, click go, and hop straight into Build a Boat for Treasure. Once you're here in build a boat, go ahead towards your building area. Use your building tool, and we're going to have to build using the basic generic block. So anyone can do this. You're going to want to build a plus sign without filling the hole in the middle. So it looks like this, one, two, three, four. And then on one of the sides, extend it out two more times. And lastly, you're going to need the table looking block, which is actually your seat, and pressing T to tilt it so that the seat part is facing inwards on your little structure. Right at the end here, place it just like that so it looks like a key, and you get Get a little noise and cutscene, and it turns into a very small key. That's the first step done. And now what you're going to want to do is build a boat and head to the left waterfall right over here. You see this waterfall there? That's the waterfall you're going to have to go into because in there is a secret room. Now, I'm going to just spawn in my old build from the last time there was an event here. You guys can make any boat whatsoever as long as you just get over there. So I'm going to go ahead and launch my boat. Press F to launch myself as well. And I'm just going to... Oh! <laughs> my boat just destroyed. I'm gonna head over here because this is where you need to go. This waterfall right over here. Heading into the waterfall, you're gonna be greeted with this big door, a bunch of books and all this stuff. It might look familiar from another RB Battles or was it Ready Player 1, 2? It was one of those, but you need to open this door first. And to do that, you have to insert a book code right over here. It's pretty simple. It's this yellow book right here, then this red book at the top, then this pink, this cyan and this lime green. Doing those five will open your first door. Hooray! And then here, we're gonna have to open a second door by inserting that key that you just got and inserting it into this chest right over here. Doing so, we'll turn the key and now this door will open, leading you to a puzzle that you have to solve to get the proper key code and giving you access to the boss battle that will give you the green bit. But the good news, ladies and gentlemen, if all this sounds a little bit complicated, is that everything is server side. So that means if one person put the book code to open this first door, no one else needs to do it. It's going to be open for the rest of the server. Likewise, only one person needs to make this key for this chest to open this door. It will be open for everyone else, but it does close after some time. So if it is closed, just refer back to the beginning of the video. And also the third thing is that the code for this will be the same for everyone in that same server. So if you want to save some time, just go ahead and find a server that everyone's already solved so that you can just insert the key code right here and get it done but for those of you who aren't lucky enough and you're following along this far i'll show you how to do this puzzle right over here so what you guys are trying to do in each level is blowing up all the red cubes on your screen by placing the amount of bombs on the right side of your screen in strategic places so that when they explode they take out all the red cubes now each bomb has eight launch trajectories and i'm going to show you guys right here what i mean i'm going to put that one there and i'm just going to put this one here the last bomb you place will explode immediately and then the other bombs will explode afterwards as soon as all the trajectories are completed and as you saw there i wasn't able to do it and i got a fail. So I'm going to give you guys an example of what it would look like if you put the bombs in the right place. For this puzzle, I'm placing the first bomb at the bottom right to take out most of these bricks down here, and then I will place the second bomb at the top left to take out the rest of the bricks. Now, I'm pretty confident in this, so I'm going to hop off as soon as I place the last brick right now because you got to do this next step super quick. As soon as the bombs take out all the red bricks, a congratulations screen will pop up with a bunch of colors. You're going to want to zoom out of your character and tilt your camera down so that you're looking through the red glass that's along the walls. As you guys can see here in the congratulations screen, you can see a code. So you're going to want to go to the safe with the keypad and enter that code that you just saw on your screen. For me, it was 4551. Doing so correctly will open the safe and lead you to a hallway. And at the end of the hallway, the doors will open into the portal room that you might recall earlier from the piggy secret badge anyways head on into the portal with you and a group of friends because you'll be warped to a boss battle that you have to complete to get that green bit now it's time for the epic boss battle against the computer that you might remember from a previous event but if you don't the boss is split into three different phases but even though it can get pretty tricky it still is one of my favorite boss battles i've ever done in roblox keep in mind though if everyone dies in a phase you have to restart all the way back at phase 
phase number one. So make sure at least one of you guys survives until the end of each phase. Here we go, guys. Here we go. The first level is where this beam will go across and it'll be in a checkerboard pattern where a bunch of these will fall into the void. And remember, every time you get damaged by this laser, a little bit of your health will get eliminated. At the top right, you can see what your health is at. So make sure, try not to get hit by the lasers because uh, this is going to be a long battle. Now, what's interesting is this finger right here, when it goes down... It'll go down for a bit and then go back up when it goes from left to right. But when it goes from right to left, it stays down the whole way. So keep that in mind, especially when the laser goes and things drop as well. Oh, gosh, I got to go over here. Oh, jump over that. Okay, there we go. But now things are going to get more exciting because the second finger is about to come in. And that's where things get a little more complicated. Here we go. The second finger is here. And so this one's just going to go back and forth like it was earlier with the checkerboard pattern. Ow. Oh, my gosh. And it's just not going to stop left and right. It's going to stay the same. But this finger is going to keep doing what it's been doing before, where it'll go down if you go right to left. And it'll go down and then a little bit up right here. Watch this. I don't need to jump over it because boom, just like that. And then while this is all going, then things are going to disappear as well. So, the, yeah, yeah, here it is. Here's the disappearing act. Okay, so it's going to get a little bit complicated. And there it falls down. And, oh, we're going to go over that. We're going to go over this and just wait around for them to spawn back. Here we go. Whoa. And that's going to go up. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. This is so tricky. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, my gosh. This boss battle is actually super intense and actually super fun. Oh, 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 oh no. 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 Oh, no, I keep falling into the void. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no, I had no idea it's going to turn into this part. What the heck? Where three of the fingers spawn in at once. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I might die. I might, I might die. I might die. Ooh, ooh. Okay, wait, wait. I made it. I made it. I made it. I made it. I'm going to jump over here, and then I'm going to jump through there. Oh, okay. Okay, I think we got this. Let's go. Let's go. First phase done. Oh, my gosh. Okay, the next phase is going to be the hand that spits out cubes, and you can only go through one of them. I forget what this mini game's called, but it's in everything, like Fall Guys, Epic Mini Games. It's pretty easy to do right now in this phase, but things are going to fall from the sky with the other hand as he stomps and destroys. Oh, oh, he's following me. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, watch out, guys. Okay. And he fell and then destroys the blocks that happened there. Oh, no. And now lasers are coming in. Oh, my gosh. Are you kidding me? Oh, I just barely made that one. Maybe um, I should have moved the hand to the outskirts like the other guy did because I kind of contributed to this team having a big hole right in the middle, which is not good. Uh, ow. Okay, that one. I, I, I couldn't have done anything about that one. Oh, great. Oh, great. Okay, okay. I'm going to make sure that this thing stays over here or something. Like way in the back here. Oh, ooh, that I took a little bit of damage after that happened. Okay, he took out that edge there. Okay, I made a mistake by doing that, guys. Try to take off the edges so that the main area where you guys can play will stay. Because I kind of messed up there and it, uh, it sucks. So honestly, this one is probably easier than the last one. I'm not going to lie. The lasers one got me going like uh, insane. That one was tough. Here, I'm just, just having a good time. Just jumping around with my friends and just... Oh, it's all back. <gasps> I think the second phase is done. And here we go. It was the third phase where you have to try to get him to punch that red button. You guys saw that? If you punch that red button, that does a lot of damage there. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We've done it once, and now we got to do it three more times while also trying to dodge his fists when he's just punching you directly and you don't have access yet to the button. So it gets a little bit tricky here. Every time. Every time. You're right. You're right. Oh, every time. Oh, my goodness. Please. Please. No. We can make it. We can make it. Please don't go on me. Please don't go on me. Come on. I'm so close. So close. Come over here. Yes. Yes. Yes! Oh, ow, 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 ow. That's good. He hit it twice now. Oh, great. And now there's a laser. If things weren't hard enough already. Oh, my goodness gracious. I'm on a fraction of my health. Oh, my goodness. And he punches it a third time. Which, oh, my. Oh. Uh-oh. Well, as you guys see there, if you die, it's okay as long as the rest of your team doesn't die. Because if the rest of the team does die, then you end up having to restart from phase one. And that is pretty annoying and you're gonna have to do this whole boss battle all over again but just like they're doing there you have to get all the way to the front there so that he punches that button that's four times in a row and when he does that then he's gonna blow up he's blown up oh, and he explodes and then you're gonna want to go over here and head to the green bit here let's go let's go go ahead and grab it and at the bottom right you should get the question mark question mark question mark bag and now head to rb battles now once you're in rb battles don't forget to hit the pause button so you don't go into the game then go into your backpack and equip that green bit there we go i'm gonna unequip the other two just in case and now you're gonna want to follow the way i take you guys because we're gonna have to go back down to floor one if you remember the other bits it's the same 
same thing. You got to go to that same room to the same elevator with the keypad. So I'm going to show you guys for those who are new and you go down here and then roll your way all the way to the furnace boiler room. Then jump into the secret hallway where there is that keypad. Now, if you guys recall, the keypad is the same for everyone all the time. It is seven, two, eight, sevens, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, then three twos, three sixes, and three threes. Go ahead and press the hashtag approved. The elevator will come down and then the elevator will go up and you have to complete this obby. But remember the cheat code that I showed you last time. The obby is really easy to do by walking to these crates right over here, then jumping up to this truss. It'll probably go into first person. Honestly, it's easier if you do that. Then climb up to that truss, then roll your way all the way into Mr. Boringsworth room because over on his chair is Mr. Boringsworth. And when you talk to him, he gives you what you wanted. The DJ Dynamic Dash reward is at the bottom right. And if you were quick enough, the golden one as well. And now by the end of this video, hopefully you all have Russo, Sabrina's, and DJ's items for your avatar. Let me know down in the comments below if you were lucky enough to get the golden one. Hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, be sure to drop that like down below. Subscribe if you guys are new. This is Twisted Menorah signing off. And as always, don't forget to stay snazzy.